What is going on guys? Real Touch GML here back with another game maker tutorial and today is going to be how to cycle through uh, anything you really like so we can do weapons we can do power-ups we can do characters again anything you'd really like and today we're gonna be cycling through weapons uh, and what I mean by cycling is like uh, on this in the screen uh, or in game you can press the Q uh, to go to the left or E to go to the right and, and just cycle through everything uh, so what I've done is I've made a player real quick which is just a blue box and a bullet which uh, is going to be so I'm gonna be cycling through guns in this tutorial again you can do anything you like but we're gonna be using the yellow gun the blue gun and the red gun so I just made three different bullets for that uh, what I've done is I've made a player and in the step event what I've done is I've just said if keyboard check pressed VK space and this is going to be when we uh, when we hit space it's going to check which gun is selected and then it's going to shoot out the corresponding gun that we have selected uh, and for our obj bullet in the create event i just set image index to zero image speed equals zero and hp equals five so our bullet is going to be going to the right uh, and then i just put him in the room so we're going to want to go ahead and create a real quick hud heads up display so go ahead and create a new object and call it i'm going to I am going to call it OBJ HUD. Uh, doesn't need a sprite, but in the create event, we're going to set a very important var variable, uh, and it's going to be global dot uh, weapon, and that's going to equal zero. Uh, and I'm going to make a quick comment to myself: zero equals yellow, one equals blue, and two equals red. So if weapon equals two that automatically means we are selecting the red gun uh, you can do the same thing with characters so you can say zero equals Bob one equals Chris three equals Cindy you know whatever you like so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the draw event and if you're using Game Maker Studio just do draw not draw each uh, GUI and what we're gonna say in code is draw text and we're going to set the x value to 10, y value to 20. And for the string, we're going to say weapon equals plus string global dot weapon. And the reason we do plus string global dot weapon is because uh, our global weapon equals zero which is an integer value which is a whole number and our draw text can only draw string values so this right here is conf is converting our global weapon into a string value uh, which that should make sense uh, but let's go ahead and test it out now so go ahead and put the HD in the room and we play it and as you can see it says weapon equals zero now you may not want that. You may want to say weapon equals uh, yellow gun, red gun, blue gun, and that's very easy to fix. So what we can do is in the step event, put in some code, and this is in the HUD. If global dot weapon uh, equals equals zero, and real quick, let's just go ahead and create a new variable here, uh, and we'll call this we'll call this. Uh, um, weapon text w weapon text equals and we'll say yellow gun because it starts off uh, at zero which means yellow gun so in the step event if global dot weapon equals equals zero then weapon text equals uh, yellow gun and now we can just say the same thing here so copy it paste it two more times so if this equals one then it equals blue gun and if this equals two then this equals red gun and in our draw instead of global dot weapon we'll say global dot weapon text and if we run it we get an error maybe just because Oh, my bad. It's not global. 
our weapon text is not global. So, weapon equals yellow gun. There we go. Again, doesn't do anything right now, but we can assure, surely fix that. So, now let's go ahead and make it so that we can cycle through the actual uh, thing here. So, in this type event, what we're going to say is, if keyboard check um, pressed, and I'm going to use the Q and E key, so ORD, Q, uh, then this will happen. So, we will say global dot weapon minus equals one because that is going to the left which would go down uh, you can do whatever logic you'd like uh, and then just copy and paste that and do E and it's going to plus equal one and we can say down here if global dot weapon is greater than three because we only have, or I'm sorry, two, because it starts at zero, because we only have three total uh, total guns to choose from, then global.weapon equals zero. So if you hit the E key and uh, you go above two, it's going to automatically cycle that back to the beginning. Copy that, paste it down, and we can do the same thing. If it is less than zero, global dot weapon equals two. All right, and now if we go ahead and run it, and I hit E, it says blue gun, red gun, yellow gun, and it cycles through. Same thing with the blue, or I'm sorry, the blue, the Q. So I can cycle through here. Um, and it actually cycles. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. Uh, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, make it so that it checks, which is actually pretty easy. If you go to the OBJ player, and in our step event, we say if if uh, global dot weapon equals equals zero, then instance create x comma y comma OBJ uh, bullet. Um, you know, what? we actually don't even need that. Just do instance create obj bullet. And since I made uh, multiple images for one, you can go ahead and just do that in the bullet. But say you have a different object for each bullet. So for your machine gun, you have a different uh, uh, object. Your shotgun, you have a different object. Then you can just say if global dot weapon equals equals zero, then uh, instance create obj pistol bullet and then if it equals one then obj instance create uh, shotgun bullet but for now I just have the bullet so all we have to do is in the uh, create event I'm sorry in the step event actually no we're gonna want that in the create event um, if uh, and you might not even have to do this again if you have the different objects but if you do have uh, multiple image images for one bullet then all you have to do is say if if global dot weapon equals equals zero then image index equals zero and then we can copy that and the reason that we are doing it in the uh, in the create event is if you if you switch uh, if you switch your gun a uh, little cycle while in the middle of uh, of while the gun is sh or while the bolt is shooting, the bolt's gonna switch itself, and you don't really want that. So we're on yellow. Boom. If we go to red, blue, and boom. So that's basically how to do that. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you found this tutorial very helpful or helpful at all. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.